Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have PPL gameplay for week number three. So we're going to be going up against Omen Legends. Now a really quick disclaimer. I have a flight in two and a half hours. Um, it's really early in the morning. You know, I haven't eaten yet. I haven't drank anything yet. I'm exhausted. So if I sound tired or out of it or if I'm not as enthusiastic, that's obviously why. Uh, you guys know I have DreamHack at Dallas, uh, starts Saturday and Sunday, so by the time this video is released, I, uh, I sent three videos, I don't know which one is releasing first, so it might be Saturday, Sunday, or it could be the Monday to be honest, but, but yeah, that's just why I'm a little bit tired and going to be out of it. So we're going to get into the games, obviously we're a 2-0 team, there's two other 2-0 teams in the league, there's Tribe Gaming, and then there's Omen Legends, which is who we're facing today. Very, very strong team. Uh, I'm good friends with all of them, so shoutouts to all of them. You know, they're super good players, they're a super good team, and they're very, very, very tough to beat. So with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. You guys know it's a best of seven, so first one to win four games. Let's hop into that first one and see what happens. Okay, so the first map that's going to be played is going to be Gem Grab Spring Trap. Now, you guys know there are bans in PBL, thankfully. We didn't get our bans across. We would have banned Rosa basically every single game. But the bans for this game was Gene because they don't want to face my Gene. And then just a random ban for our side was Pam. Now, the reason we had random bans is because I'm the team captain, and I thought that you had to ban... Um, I thought that you had to ban four hours before your own game. But it's four hours before the first game. So the first game was at two. Where we were at, or the first game was at six. We were at six thirty. I submitted it at like two seventeen, thinking you know I had some time, but clearly not. So you can see Felly on Rosa going in on Ash. You can see Jack is on Braden, and the reason he went Spike was to deal with the Rosa. But you got Rosa on Rosa action over there, so it's not too helpful. I'm gonna go in over there. How about uh, Felly kill Ash? Chepo really has nowhere to go because Brayden just spring at that entrance point. And it's a two shot to kill Jack when you're a Carl. So, you know, there's not much you can do. They need three more gems at the moment. I knew Yump was going to be over there, so just give him a quick spray. Chepo's pretty low, so he's going to get that off. I'm going to be able to kill Brayden fairly easily. Feli's going to help out with that one. Ash is going to be going in. You can see Feli going towards the grass, but a really good play over there by Yump to be able to kill him. Roke, uh, Poco is really, really good combination with um, with Rosa, obviously. So you can see Brayden's going towards the middle. There's not much I can do without my team, so I'm kind of just waiting for them to go up at this point. Ellie's uh, going to be able to get Brayden. I thought he was over here, but Yump's just going to be in the top right. And we're going to be down one nothing to start off this match. So let's get into the heist game. I don't know exactly what the bands were. I know Carl was banned. We do like to run Carl on this map. Um, I forgot what the other band was, so we're going to be going with a Brock, a Spike, and a, uh, and a Bull. Now, I was about to go Barley, but I, I felt like they were going to go with a Rico, just because I know two play two players on their team, Ash and Brayden, really, really like Rico, and Spike's obviously really good on this map, so I thought, you know, Brock would be a really good counter pick, so I was able to take out Brayden over there, so we got a really quick advantage to start off. I got a two-tap over there on Ash, so we're, you know, we're really feeling good to start off this game over here. I'm just going to super that like entrance over there kind of so I have a vantage point kind of just super the safe. You can see Feli's getting a super off onto that safe. Kind of just chipping towards Ash but just wasting his shots kind of because he's not really gaining anything. Uh, you can see him going towards Brayden. I'm going to miss a shot over there on Brayden. I'm going to miss a couple. You can see Tyrant starts thinking about going and he faked us all. Made us move positions. That's a really good play on Tyrant on that end. I was, I'm able to hit Tyrant over there one time. And at this point, I'm just trying to charge my super. You can see him going in. I was able to get my super, and then I'm going to super these guys up here. Uh, good kill over there by Feli. You can see Jack's just kind of on the save. Uh, just a really quick pinch over there on Ash. And so far, it's kind of looking good. You know, it's pretty even. Um, in in my eyes, it's I think we're doing a better job because we, we opened up the map a little bit. You know, um, I have a clear vantage point to the save, so I think things are going well. We're up 8% at the moment. You can see Feli goes down without using a super, which I, I told him to use a super, and I think that was a little bit of a, uh, of a breaking point, if you want to say. So I was able to kill Ash, which is actually really huge, because they weren't able to get a three-player push. Feli was able to take out Brayden, and we really stopped their push over there. You know, It looked like a lot was going to be coming at us. But it turned out that not too much was coming, but Tyrant Star did a really good job at stalling time. I'm going to super up there, try and just kind of get them away. I wasn't able to hit anyone with my super, though. 
I got caught in this super over here, and I'm going to go down to Braden's spike RNG. You're going to see Tyrant rushing onto the safe. Good defense over there by Fally. Uh, I was able to almost two-tap Braden, but I wasn't able to finish it. Safe is one super away from Ariko, so we, we got to do some damage over here. Uh, you can see Jax going in. Preferably, I should have went on offense, and Fally should have gone on defense, but at this time, you know, 20 seconds left. Jack goes down, and Tyrant's just able to walk in. And they're able to take that 2 nothing lead. So they're, they're going off. You know, they're playing really well. They did have that one push that screwed us over. And let's see if we're able to catch up or if we're just going to get slapped by these guys. So here we go into the third game. We're going to sub out uh, Jack for, for, for Patchy just because, you know, Jack's weakest mode is uh, is Bravo and Patchy's strongest is Bravo. So it obviously makes sense. Now, we knew they were going to run a Rosa counter and we knew they were going to run a Rosa. So the plan was to have Rosa on Rosa and then me on that Rosa counter. Sorry for that, yawn. I'm so ex I'm so tired. It's ridiculous. Uh, we're able to take it out, and we're looking pretty good at this point. I get my matchup on slash that I want. Patchy's uh, just in the grass, playing a little bit aggressive. I would have healed up if I was him, just because he knows he has that Rosa on Rosa gameplay about to come up. Uh, Fele's just being really aggro. He did not bring up the ball. I know Ash is on my lane. I've been holding my lane pretty well this game. I haven't gone down yet. Then you can see my team kind of collapses at this point. I knew Braden was somewhere in there, so I just went and supered him, put myself in that corner, tried to do as much damage as I could to Ash, because I knew he was the goal scorer. You can see Patchy going up over there. Ash tried to trigger a super, but for some reason did it work. There's a lot of auto aim over there, but at the end of the day, we were able to get away. So you see Slash is just chilling out here. He was able to get a super, really good play over there by Slash. And we're not able to get back in time, and Braden is gonna get the goal, and they are up one to nothing. So I'm trying to switch lanes over here, um, unfortunately Patchy is not in the voice chat at this time so I can't tell him to switch lanes. You can see I'm going to spin in, I'm probably going to die. I can't send it out over there. Philly's going to get that kill but that's just going to be it. We're not going to be able to get that stop, Philly doesn't have any shots left. And now we're down 3 to nothing in this best of 7. And it's really not looking good, you know, it, it's, it, it's not bright. No one's come back from a 3 nothing lead so far. So we're going to try our best, obviously, you know, we have positive mentality. Let's hop into the next game and see if anything happens. So here we go into Siege, and at this point, you know, we're, we're pulling out all the stops. We got Chepa back in. I'm going to go on Carl, which is one of my best brawlers. You know, we're going to put Jack on Nita, and we're going to put Feli on Rosa. And this is just, like, the ultimate, like, we're tanky, we have the range, we have the DPS. Like, we, we, we got this one. We're, we just pulled out the stops. This map was, like, made for us, basically. Like, it, 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 it would be hard for us to lose this match. You can see Ash on Feli over there. Uh, so far, pretty good job by Feli. Was able to get the kill, but he is going to go down after Tyrant Star wasn't able to pick that up. I'm just going to be able to spin on him really easily and kill him. I'm going to go to a really low amount of health. See, Jack is pushing Yump really well. Yump is going to go down. Then you see Feli is going to be pushing Ash. Really good play over there by Ash to be able to get that. I was able to juke that, what Patchy calls a wobble bubble ball. But um, you see I'm just charging my super over there off of Yump. Um, he didn't really shoot at me, so I don't know why he went up. He basically just charged my super, but I'm sure he had something in mind. He just didn't end up doing it. We're able to take out that turret over there. And at this point, you know, this is what Rose is so good at. She pops the super. So now we got the robot still alive, we got Rosa still alive. I'm gonna back up, Rosa gets her super back, and we do 42% damage on that first push, which which is super good. So you can see Feli's coming up, we got two people on the left side over here. So there's not much I could do, I'm gonna get my roll on, but there's not, like, I, I wouldn't be able to take them out, so I'm just gonna roll back right to the bottom. Uh, let Feli pick up the power up, you can see Feli has the super, so none of them wanna go even close to Feli. You can see Tyrant Star is close to a wall, so I'm just kinda going at him over there. Feli was able to come over and get that assist with the kill, or get the kill with myself with the assist. So really good play over there by Feli with that pinch. Uh, you can see Ash is just coming up. I'm trying my best to juke that ball, but it does hit me once. We are able to get a six siege bot, and you can see Ash continuously just working that ball, just going off with it. But um, you can see Ash is pushing him back. Feli's gonna go up the right side. I'm gonna go up the left side just so we get attack on all sides, and Chepo's gonna be going up the middle. Ash is getting pretty low at this point. Uh, the push is looking pretty solid. You know, we're all kind of in there. I was able to take out Tyrant Star. Most of the work done by Jack, though. Philly's going to pop the super. He's going to be able to take out Ash. He's going to go all in. And this leaves the save with 21, or the Ike, sorry, with 21%. You can see we're kind of just holding off in the middle. 
I was able to hit Yump over there, able to hit Ash once, able to hit Ash again as he was going for the aggressive play. I was able to get him very low. I was gonna, I'm gonna chase Tyrant Star over there. I am able to get the kill. I'm not able to get the bolt, unfortunately, though. You can see Ash is pretty low. He's doing a good job of regaining health and tempting us to shoot. I was able to take him out over there. So you can see Chepo's now on Yump. And at this point, we got the level 8 bot. They got 21%. So we're feeling very confident that we're going to get our first win of the set. You can see I'm just like breaking that over there. The bot's going up pretty strong. There's not much they could do. And, you know, they're, they're clumping up. But we're just going to go all in at this point. Tyron's going to try and kill. Pelly and Jack is not going to be able to. And that is going to be the first win for us. And we're only going to be down 3-1 now. Momentum a little bit on our side. Maybe we're able to get the reverse sweep. Probably not. But let's hop into the later portions and see if we're able to do so. So here we go into our fifth game. We're going to be playing on Crystal Cavern. The bands were Gene and Penny. And usually I am the mid. But I want to. We're, we're trying to pull out all the stops at this point. So I just went on the Rosa. You know, I was, I'm going to do my best attempt just absolutely hard carry because you know we do want that dub i'm gonna be just very aggro off the bat i'm gonna be pushing yump you can see ash is on that side i tried to reach ash i wasn't able to do so good pinch over there by chepo to make sure that ash stays low although chepo is putting himself in a range where he can't be hit i was able to kill him i'm gonna follow up on yump be able to hit him a few times but ultimately it was best that i go back and see Feli's causing a huge distraction but it is going to be very hard for him to lane against brayden as he is at carl you can see i got my super right now Gonna pop it, walk towards them, and unfortunately I wasn't able to do too much with my super. Actually, I wasn't able to do anything for that matter, so Ash obviously is gonna be closer to his super now. A little bit of a misplay over there on my part. You can see we're going with that pinch over there. Chepo does get a little bit too close. I'm taking it patiently just because I know I can't really team wipe all on my own. So I didn't just want to go in and try and do everything. I'm able to reach Brayden. I got him to one shot after killing Ash, but I wasn't able to kill him. But I am going to go on Brayden's side now because he does have all the gems. And, you know, as I said earlier, I'm just trying to hard carry this game as hard as possible. So you can see Feli goes for the sneak. He wasn't able to do too much with it. I'm going to sneak throughout from the back. And I'm actually going to be able to get Ash pretty low. But, again, I have four gems. And if I die, they're going to win the game in the set. So I can't really be too aggressive at this point. Brayden gets super close, actually. So I am able to hit him a couple times. But I am going to run away. You can see Ash is going to pop his super but then run back. I'm right beside Brayden. I'm right beside Ash now, so I'm going to pop my super. I'm going to be able to chase down Yump and get him. Brayden's in the back of their spawn. I'm going to be able to get him alongside Jack, and we're just going to run back. Now, obviously, I have nine gems. We want me to have ten, so Jack is an eight, or so Jack is able to die. So I'm just going to pick up the tenth gem, hide in the bush. Five seconds left. Pop my super with three seconds left, and that is going to be the game. So here for the sixth game, you know, we're halfway done the comeback if we're able to do so. Uh, we're going to pull out Daryl, Carl, and Brock. Now, the reason we pu we pulled out the Carl is because that bull was banned. So we're not really going to see a tank. You're not going to see Primo. The tankiest guy you're going to see is a Daryl. So that's why we just we elected to go with the Carl. You can see Jack's going to be able to kill him. We're able to do have a really good pinch and then a really good shot over there by Jack. Uh, left side's super hard, though, for a Daryl. It's, it's just super tough. You can see Yump's going to miss that shot. I'm going to be able to hit him with one of mine. I'm going to have him focus me a little bit. He's going to be 120 health. Uh, he's focused on me, and I'm just going to be able to get that quick kill over there because of that pinch. You can see I'm just going to super the safe just to break a wall or two. We're able to take out Ash over there. You can see Yump has his super. I'm just going to start spraying away at the safe, and we're looking good at this point. Um, things are looking solid. But yeah, you can see Ash is on that side over there. Um, he's going to be able to roll onto us. Meanwhile, Brayden and Yump are on the save. Chepo's going to go down, but he's going to tie. I'm able to take out Brayden with Feli. And Feli's got his roll, so he's able to push him back. I'm just on the save, but Yash is just going to come right beside me. Um, he's going to have his roll. He, he's going to think about using it, but he's going to elect not to because he is just going to go down with me respawning. They're doing a good amount of damage. They're, they've almost tied up the game, actually. Uh, obviously, Yump has to go right, so I shoot a little bit right of him, and I'm able to get the kill. Again, Ash is just on me like like a hawk, man. He's he's playing super, super well at this point. I'm telling Feli, just roll in. You know, you guys got this. He's going to roll in onto the safe. Chepo's going to be with him, and you're going to see him roll right on it. And we're going to be able to tie the series three apiece. You know, this is super, super exciting. We, we got 
we go we have basically got back you know we got it back to a tie it's going to go into one final game on pinhole punt let's hop into it So here we go into the seventh and final game. You know, whoever wins this one wins it all. And you can see they got the Rico with the Carl and the Rosa. Now, we went with the Poco, Carl, and Rosa just because Gene was banned. I probably would have won Gene. But we went with the Poco that burned us in the first game. Sorry for that notification. I forgot to turn off Do Not Disturb. So we have Feli doing some good work over there. Again, I apologize for the notifications. You can see I'm really close to the wall. You can see Brayden's coming in looking for that big super. It gets a little bit too close. I'm going to be healed to pop my super. We're going to be able to get that kill. The ball is going to be given to Jack. And Jack's just going to be able to put that one right in the net. And that's going to give us the early one to nothing lead. Now you can see Chepo's just chilling on that right side. You can see Ash has a super and I don't, which is obviously a big advantage for uh, Ash. Uh, you can see Brayden's just absolutely going in at this point. Like, he went in. He got his super off of his last super. He's going to move to that side and just absolutely obliterate us. Really good play over there by Brayden and Ash. So you can see, one minute left in the game. So Ash is going to go right towards the middle. Me and Chepo are going to help a lot with killing him. You can, you're can you going to see him going to pop my super. Chepo got a kill. I was able to get a kill. Slash is going to just go down over there, but it's kind of irrelevant. And Chepo is just going to walk that one with a little bit of BM into the net. And that is going to end it. We're able to make the 3-0 comeback, win the game 4-3. Unbelievable. This, this other team was truly like, eh, eh, they were a crazy, crazy matchup. They were super good. Um, props to them, by far the hardest team we've faced so far. And, you know, we know that we're going to be facing them later on in the playoffs so ggs to them that's going to be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video um obviously i'm at dallas at this time so you know root me on give me that good luck yeah that's going to be it for today i'll catch you guys when i'm back maybe with the face cam at that point i'll see you guys there peace